What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about Battlefield 2042 since the Season 2 update. And I've been playing a good bit over the last few days and I will have to say the game plays a lot better than it has in the past. Now, is it the perfect game still? By no means. Uh, not at all. There's still things that DICE can do to make the game better. But it plays more like your uh, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 to me now than it has over the last several months or since release. Now, when it comes to the things they have improved, they've made some changes, of course, to the way the operators work. They've done some good nerfs, some good buffs, brought in some new weapons over the last couple you know, months, the last, last season and this season. They also are starting to add in some weapons from other Battlefield games. So now you're starting to see some of the weapons from Battlefield 3 kind of creep in uh, to the game. So at the beginning of season three, we got a few weapons at the end, towards the end of season three, we're going to get a few more weapons from some of the older games. And of course that's going to add more and more weapons to the game, more and more uh, things that you can use some weapons that people really enjoy. And I think overall the new map as well, the one I'm playing right now is designed really well because it's very close quarters combat. Uh, it's not really like you're spawning up, running, spawning up, running, getting destroyed by vehicles and that kind of thing. It is something, in my opinion, that should have been done a while back. I kind of hate they only have one map this time. I kind of wish that they would have added a couple maps like this size. I think it's perfect for the game. And the other thing is there's been a lot of people playing the last few days. Now, of course, I play on PS5. I do have, you know, the uh, cross-play turned on. And every lobby I've gotten into has had no AI whatsoever. I did get one game. There was one AI on one, my team and one on the other team. And that's with 100 and something players in the lobby. So, you know, they're filling up really quickly. Also, the loading screen now to get into a game actually tells you, you know, how many people are needed to start the game. Everything, in my opinion, that DICE has done should have been done. Yes, of course, when the game came out, all the quality of life changes they have made, all the updates, everything's a lot better now. So if you still own the game, you haven't played in a while, you might want to hop on and try it out. So I think overall, like I said, it is a better game. Is it perfect? By no means is it perfect. Could it still use some improvements? Of course, but I'm glad DICE is still working on this. I think they're doing a lot better job. If the game would have been released in the state that it's in right now at the start of Season 2, I think everyone's feelings about the game would be a lot different than it was. Now, it's something I think that a lot of people are going to have to kind of... I guess if you really just absolutely hated the game and you really just refused to play it, I can't understand that because the way the game released left a bad taste in a lot of people's you know kind of mouth. It was something that a lot of people just were not really happy with but overall i do think is a big improvement i do think it is definitely worth playing right now if you've never played it you don't own it i would definitely still say wait till it's on sale before you pick it up uh, i wouldn't pay full price because some people still may not enjoy the way it plays some people may not enjoy the battlefield 3 or battlefield uh, 4 uh, some people may like more of the uh, you know other style games like you know the battle uh the battlefield 1 and battlefield 5 you know that world war ii style setting but for me personally i've always liked the modern setting for battlefields battlefield 3 was one of my favorites over the last several years anyway um so i would recommend definitely trying it out if you own it like i said if you do not own it you might want to wait until you can pick it up on sale but if dice continues to do what they have done with season two i think the future of battlefield this year at least looks really really good i think they can definitely make some big improvements to the end of the year and maybe start off next year strong and continue to build the game up to get more players back playing. Like I said, it is a big improvement player base wise, considering before about two or three months after release, when you got into a game, it was pretty much all AI. And now you really don't have that issue. And also another thing they fixed in case you are wondering is the way, uh, you know, your kind of ADS works on console. In the past, it felt really weird when you would aim down sight and move, everything kind of felt clunky. And everything feels a bit smoother now. Everything is moving a lot better. It's, the game just feels a lot better and more improved, on, in my opinion, at least on new-gen consoles. I can't speak for old-gen, but on the PS5, everything feels a lot better. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you've been playing Battlefield. Let me know what platform you're on. Let me know what kind of lobbies you're getting in and all that good stuff. But, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.